Okay, in this part of the DVD, we're going to go through introducing yourself. Now, the introduction is really short and really simple, and it's something you can practice anytime. Okay? And I encourage you to practice it a lot, especially the finger spelling portion of it, so that you get nice and clear and fluid. Okay? Now, uh, like I said, the introduction is nice and short, but it is one thing that no other part of this is. It is your time to make your first impression. Okay? So, when you come in to do your introduction, make sure you're comfortable. Don't be at attention. Okay? Be at ease. Be comfortable. You can't see my feet, but they're not together. They're apart and they're comfortable. Show some uh, a smile. Show that you're not frightened. Uh, that might be a lie, but show it anyway. Uh, show some confidence. It's been my experience that a little bit of nervousness is a good thing. If you walk in and you're completely confident, you might be overconfident. A little bit of nervousness, yes. Being so nervous, you're shaking and you're, you're all, don't do that. Show confidence. All right? Uh, you probably practice this a lot. And if you do what I asked, practice it all the time, you know. Uh, you don't have to be in front of a mirror. You don't have to be in front of a person. You can introduce yourself to a wall. Uh, do it every night before you go to bed. Uh, finger spell your name and the name of your song all the time. Um, and when you get ready to do your introduction, those things will be done. Okay, so the introduction has got some very few parts to it. Um, one is your dress. Okay, dress plainly. You see I have on a plain shirt. That is because if it's kind of like, <coughs> excuse me, um, if you were to be reading a book and the pages of the book were had a, pictures behind it all the time, boy, it'd be really hard to read those words, those pictures. If you have a, a loudly designed shirt or a blouse or a dress, then uh, it'll be like reading a book with every page having pictures behind the words. You can do that for a little while, but after a while it gets really tedious. So wear something plain. Uh, your LTC t-shirt would be okay if you want to do that. If you want to dress up a little bit, uh, guys, stay away from the Hawaiian shirts. Girls, stay away from the really pretty bright flowers. Okay. Guys and gals both, stay away from stripes. You tend to start to go crazy with these little stripes going behind your eyes. Ah. All right, no stripes this way or this way. Uh, same thing with polka dots. Guys, I can't see you in polka dots, but gals, I've seen some beautiful, you know, polka dot dresses. Don't do polka dots. Uh, plain colors is the best. And if you have a design, it needs to be, you know, something very, very, a light design. Okay. Um, first thing you're going to do is you're going to introduce who you are. Hello, my name is, and then you're going to fingerspell your name. If you don't know how to fingerspell your name, go back to the DVD, and I have a whole section on fingerspelling, and there's a lot of information there, more than just the ABCs, okay? Tells you how to fingerspell. So, you're going to say, hello, my name is, and then you're going to finger spell your name. Okay, and you can do that multiple ways. You can say, hello, my name is Paul Lemons. Okay, but don't say Paul Lemons. I, I suspect your name is not that. But the point is, I am speaking at the same time I'm signing. Or you can say, hello, my name, my, hello, my name is Paul Lemons. 
where you say it and then sign it, say it and then sign it. Uh, sometimes people have a hard time with saying it and signing it at the same time. Either way, it's fine. You can also sign it and say it. Hello, my name is Paul Lemons. Okay? Either way. Uh, but you must fingerspell the name of your song. Next, you say, and my number is, and you give us your LTC number. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You, they have to know the digits. You don't have to know 100 or 1,000 or anything like that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right. So let's say my number is um, 4618. 4618. Got it? Okay, the only place that you might get messed up there is three. It's one, two, three. It's these three instead of these three. Because what was six? That was six. So that's three. So, hello, my name is Paul Lemons. And my number is four, what did I say? One, six, eight. And I will be signing or interpreting. This is the sign for interpreting. This is the sign for signing. This is the sign for singing. Now, whatever way you think about what it is you're doing, if you're going to be coming up and you're going to be singing in signs, sign it this way, singing. If you're going to be coming up and you're going to be interpreting the song that you hear, however, my, however your mind thinks of this, if you're going to be interpreting you'll be doing this. If you're coming up and you're just signing the song, then you'd be signing the song. And it's like these coming, rotating toward you. Okay? That's a way to individualize this, to be the way you think about what it is you're about to be doing. If you think you're going to be singing, sing. If you think you're going to be signing, sign. If you think you're going to be interpreting, interpret. Okay? Uh, so, I will be, I'm going to say interpreting, um, what's one of the songs? Uh, he Still Came. He Still Came. Okay? He Still Came. Now, on your finger spelling, it is better to be clear than it is to be fast. Let that sink in. Okay? The deaf are have never taken Evelyn Wood speed reading, okay? Your goal is to communicate. So it's better to say Paul than it is to say Paul. All right? Now, once you, if you've had a conversation and you've said Paul a hundred times, you want to figure it out, that's fine. Introducing yourself, though, you haven't had the opportunity to develop a rapport with them, so your finger spelling needs to be extra clear. And if you need to slow it down to do so, great. <coughs> I will be interpreting uh, He Still Came. Okay, That's about as fast as you really ought to be able to do it and still be heard and understood. And then you'll start doing the song. So that's about it for the introduction. You come in, you say, hello, it's like a salute, my, and the hand has come to your chest, name, two N's, or two H's, however you want to think about that, uh, coming down, my name is, you finger spell your name, my number, it's like your, your fingers are kissing, is, and then you finger spell your number, and I will be interpreting, signing, singing, whatever, and you finger spell the name of your song. Okay, that's it. Look forward to seeing you there at LTC. Do a good job for me.